the next leader of the Green Party of Canada, Anna Paul. My job is to be your strong voice. We are facing the defining challenges of our time. That's Anime Paul, and she just made history as the first ever black leader for a federal political party in Canada. I am running in Toronto Centre in the October by-election. The Liberal Party has neglected that riding for the last 27 years. You basically more than quadrupled your vote share, getting it up to just under 33%. I will not abandon the residents of Toronto Centre. Okay, but fair to say you stole the NDP vote? The Liberals dropped 15%, Conservatives lost half of theirs, and we gained 25%. The best green results ever in Toronto, ever. I've done about 120 interviews all across the country when the pandemic hit. There were so many places in Canada that were thrown into food insecurity. I consider food security to be a right. And so if you're not providing for food security, you're not fulfilling that basic obligation. We have a social safety net that has let people down. And we still have a climate emergency and we can't forget it because it has not forgotten us. Renewable energy to be worth um, over $3 trillion uh, by 2030. Hello, I am here today to remind Parliament about our sacred responsibility during this pandemic because that seems to have been forgotten. I call upon all of us across party lines to support an intergovernmental COVID-19 task force. What we are doing is not working. You know, there's talking the talk and walking the walk. Talking's not walking and it's time for some walking. And I wanted to ask you what you feel you bring to Parliament Hill that is going to be different. <laughs> Diverse representation matters. Affordable housing, guaranteed livable income, mental health services, those things are part of an interconnected whole. Green Party leader joined demonstrators outside St. George. What we are experiencing now in our long-term care facilities is a humanitarian crisis. Speak we have got to do better than this. 